Good morning students. Now we have a chapter Water Resources of India. Water. Water present on the earth and inside the earth. The water which is present inside the earth is groundwater and the water which is present on the surface is surface water. Surface water means water found on the surface of the earth in the form of river, lake, pond, ocean, sea or wherever we see the surface water on the surface it is a surface water. Ground water found inside the earth. We can get this water by doing the boring or we will have a well or tube well so that we can utilize the ground water. Utilization of water in India. There are different ways in which we can utilize water. Utilize means we can use water. First is irrigation, giving water to plants. Second, for domestic purpose. There are a number of works which we do in the homes or for the domestic purpose. Industries. Then production of hydro energy. Apart from this, water is also utilized for recreation, fishing, etc. Now why irrigation is important in India? Irrigation is important in India because monsoon, monsoon is rainfall. In India is unreliable, unpredictable, erratic. Erratic means sometime rainfall is so heavy that it causes flood and the other time it is very less that it is a dry condition. Unevenly distributed. Unevenly distributed means like in Rajasthan, uh, western uh, Thar desert is there we have. That area received less than 25 cm of rainfall. While in Meghale, Chirapunji or Mosinram, it receives the highest rainfall of 1100 approx cm. Orographic in nature. Orographic means on the way of monsoon bearing wind, there is a barrier. Barrier means like physical uh, mountain or a hill should be there, which is higher, which stops the monsoon bearing wind and causes rainfall. So in India, we have orographic nature of rainfall. Methods of irrigation in India. Traditional method and new method. In the traditional method, we have well, tube well, tank and canal. New methods of irrigation, sprinkle irrigation and drip irrigation. Well irrigation. First, now the condition where we can have the well irrigation. Soft soil, so the digging for the well can be done easily. High water level, inside the water should be little higher so that water can be easily taken out. Now the areas where this, this has been practiced is Northern Plains of India, Punjab, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar and West Bengal. Advantages and disadvantages. Advantages. Cheap. Second. Occupy less space. It can be dug in the farms or near the house. Used for domestic and irrigational purposes. Add fertility to the soil. How it adds fertility to soil? Whenever the water has been taken out from inside the earth through the well, it brings minerals in the water. So this minerals add fertility to the soil. Disadvantage. Brackish. Brackish means when the uh, digging has been done and the water which has come out, it is saline in nature. Taste. Means it can't be used for irrigation or for domestic purpose. It is useless. Water table decreases in summer. When the temperature is very high and there is no rainfall, the water table decreases. Rate of evaporation is higher in unlined wells. Unlined wells means where the embankments are not there. It is on the surface. So here as it is open, so it causes a lot of evaporation. Next is tube well. Now the condition is again high water table, fertile soil means the area where it has been installed. Installed means tube well has been installed. Then 
that area should be having a fertile soil soft soil or rock for boring so it can be easily bored and the areas where it has been practiced is northern plains of india punjab haryana uttar pradesh bihar west bengal advantages and disadvantages now if we do the comparison with the well the tube well irrigates large area like 400 hectares of land while well irrigates only 100 hectares of land advantage next is less evaporation no manual work disadvantage it is costly requires electricity or diesel to run motor so that's why it is costly so it is always installed in an area which is fertile next is canal irrigation two types of canal irrigation pernil canal and indian canal indian canal it is seasonal in nature seasonal nature means during the rainy season only it can be used it is cheaper control floods control flood means during the rainy season when the river get flooded volume of water increases then the farmers cut down the drains towards the farm so the flow of the water will move towards the farm and it irrigates disadvantage is that seepage of water due to mud embankments means the sides of the drain is made up of mud sometimes there is a leakage so the water will move to the either side of it and cause marshy area or it can be area for the develop uh, breeding up of mosquitoes it irrigates only lower areas because it has been taken out from the river so the level land and little lower areas can be irrigated not the high area pernil canal now advantages and disadvantages pernil means which can be used throughout the year means it always have a water second drawn by making dams or barrages dams are constructed on different rivers and from there the canals can be taken out irrigate large area as compared to irrigation canal no seepage as embankments are made up of cement and brick means it is a concrete one so there is a less chances of seepage disadvantage expensive at the time of making when the canal has been made expensive it is it is used when it is used it is cheaper salt efforts when the water has been given sometime water remain in the farm for longer duration and then when evaporation take place it leaves the soil so because of that sometimes the fertility of the soil get affected tank irrigation conditions for the tank irrigation hard rocks uneven topography that is the number of natural depressions heavy seasonal rainfall now areas tank irrigation is mostly practiced in southern or peninsular india why because in southern india or peninsular india digging up of well or making a boring for tube well is difficult even canal cannot be made here because it's uneven for canal required the flat land so that the water can move easily so all this is not possible here and in southern india or peninsular india it is a uneven topography so there are number of natural depressions in which during the rainy season the water get collected easily so the areas are odisha madhya pradesh karnataka telangana andhra pradesh advantages natural depressions uneven topography so it have a natural depression easily it is cheap they don't have to construct anything used in dry season for irrigation dry season here means after the rainy season when the water is required for irrigation they can use this water for irrigation high rate of evaporation is a disadvantage because it is an open area so when the temperature will increase the water will evaporate desilting is required desilting means as the streams add water into these tanks it also brings silt with it so because of deposition of silt the depth decreases means that depression become shallow 
so farmers have to do desilting every year so that the depth can be maintained it covers a large area means if it is a man made tank so it covers a large area which can be used for agriculture so this is a disadvantage now modern methods of irrigation sprinkle irrigation and drip irrigation sprinkle irrigation now advantages this type of method involve less wastes of water means evaporation will take place but that will be less it is the best method for the conservation of water it is suited means it is suitable for arid and semi arid region where there is a shortage of water it maintains a surface irrigation system it requires a higher application efficiency means how to install this type of system in the farms frequent application is possible changes can be done does not interfere with the cultivation means only the pipelines are running or wherever the pipe can be done for the sprinkling so it will not disturb the farm it will not occupy any area then chemical and fertilizer application can easily be used with the sprinkle of water it can be easily done so this is the best method of irrigation disadvantage high initial cost high operating cost because looking after putting or uh, stalling the pipes in the field is little costlier this sprinkle of water also get suffered by the direction of wind if wind is towards the one direction then the water will not be spread throughout the field it will not be uniform it will be only in one part second there are plants or crops which leaves are little sensitive if the water remains there and evaporate it leaves the uh, salt on it so because of that it decays it always required the high maintenance to check the pipelines so that it will not have any debris or salt the water is not saline they have to check it otherwise the crop will suffer drip irrigation now advantage is that in this there is a minimum loss of water because of this the water will be given directly to the roots of the plants and recycled or non potable water can easily be used moisture within the root zone can be maintained at the field capacity soil erosion will be very less water will be distributed uniformly there is a la less labor cost means there is no requirement of a labor fertilization uh, can be done easily without wasting up of fertilizer so these are the advantages of drip irrigation disadvantage initial cost is more than over system over system is like sprinkle irrigation initial cost is more because farmers have to run pipelines throughout the field so that it can be given near to the roots the sun can affect the tubes which used for the drip irrigation as it is exposed in the tubes the pipelines which is exposed to the sun sometime it give a crack to it so farmers have to check regularly and they also have to check the clogging clogging means salt or silt or debris are get inside and the water will not drip properly so they have to check this also so this is the disadvantage of irrigation i think methods of irrigation differences between the different type of irrigation is clear still if it is not clear you can ask me thank you